Hey guys and welcome to Tutorial Tuesday. So in this tutorial I'm kind of comparing four types of water effect that you can use and I'll talk a bit about each of them and show you what they all look like. You can use this which is, a, it's called Golden Artist Colors and it's a soft gel and it dries to like, you can texture it to like be like waves and that's really good for lava. Then there's this Secret Weapon Realistic Water. I've used it once and I'll show you how that turned out in a bit. So just this plain white glue, you might think that's not water effect, but after seeing it dry in plastic containers after we use it, it dries really clearly and sometimes it yellows but sometimes it stays really clear. It could be a pretty good cheap water effect if you don't have the money or don't really want to spend a lot because water effects pretty expensive. And finally Games Workshop water effect which I think this one's pretty old, like probably six years old for my one of my friends, but still working. So I'm going to show you a couple models that we use this golden artist color soft gel as water effect. And let's start over here. So with this guy, we used it kind of as like a sludge pool, maybe like sewer kind of thing. You can use that. It looks really good with that. You can kind of see it, it's wavy. You can texture it. It's really good for shallow waters, like little pools, and it dries really clear and stays clear. Yeah. And this guy, I'll just show you with a blue one, just so you can see what it can do with water. Turn around. Yeah, just like that. So you can see how it's all textured and looks like they're little waves. And this one, it's a pretty good price for how much you get. It doesn't seem like that big of a bottle but we've had it for a year or two and we haven't even gone through half of it and I think it's $25 so this one's really good for the price always works we've never had something go wrong with it okay so for the tacky glue which is just normal white glue that you can get for crafts or anything and it's also really cheap so I have an example right here I just did it quick just a, I guess like a green oozy base just to show you that it does dry clear and textured so I just did this up really quick so it's not really good but you can see how you can texture it and it dries clear so good substitute water effect okay so here I have a couple examples of what I was talking about and a few things that I want to show you that will help you out when you try this so way on to your right is the uh, green base where I did the uh, white glue water effect and on the base in the middle it's still drying but this is the secret weapon water effect and it's doing pretty good so far I just need to let this fully dry and then probably put a lot more layers to fill in this river but so far I really like it it dries within a day and a half to a day depending on how much you put and you only can put an eighth of an inch at a time so it will take a while to build up if you want something deep if you just want like a little puddle this stuff is great it dries in like probably five hours completely so it actually turned out a lot better than I thought and when I was doing this since it's a deeper base I needed to take some tape and tape the edges just like that so all the stuff stays in but I decided I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to slowly build it up. Because when I use this, I always tend to put too much. With this base, I actually started with the Games Workshop water effect. But after waiting three to four days for the first layer to dry, it just was starting to yellow and not really dry. So I gave up with that, scraped it off, started with this. And I'm very happy with the results. So there you have it, guys. Secret weapon, realistic water and white glue. Okay guys, so if you like this tutorial slash comparison video, please subscribe and stay tuned guys. Thanks for watching. Rock on!